Hey guys, this is Zach with Joker's Trains. Got another brand new engine the other day, I guess it's in August. This is the new Lionel Legacy E7s. Uh, this is obviously a B&O with the Sunburst paint scheme. Uh, these were featured in 2015 Volume 2 catalog. They had several other road names you could have choose from. Uh, they did the Great Northern, Seaboard, Burlington, Milwaukee Road, Pierre Marquette, and B&O. I think it's all of them. Uh, as you see here, this is the Santa Fe E8 behind it. Those were a couple years ago, I guess. Now they're pretty similar. Um, they changed some of the sound package on them. They have different horns, a little bit different engine sounds. Um, they're they're pretty close. I mean, if somebody's paying attention, you'll notice it. But if you don't don't know what to listen for, I guess you wouldn't pay any mind to it. Um, I guess the horns are accurate on both of them. I'm not real sure. I've never heard one in person, so I'm sure somebody will chime in on the comment section and tell me everything that's wrong with it. So I'll leave it up to you guys to tell me what's wrong with it. The, they're both right at 34 inches. Lionel claims they're both 34 inches, and they seem to be pretty close to each other. The E7s look a little bigger. And they both run on 036 curves, so if you have a smaller layout and you're looking to get a bigger engine, not counting you know the big steam engines the articulated and the northerns and those are not but these are run on pretty small curves um, I'm sure they'll run on smaller than 036 uh, maybe 031 I'm not sure I don't have anything I don't even have any 036 to try it on so everything I have is I think smallest I have is 054 maybe I'm not sure can't remember but if you're looking for a a bigger engine that runs on a small layout Definitely look into some F units and E units. They're good engines. Pull really good. Um, mine pull good now. Um, they didn't want to get them out of the box. They had a defect. They had to go back to line out. So that's the delay in the video. Is I had to wait on line out to get them back to me. And I just haven't really been in the mood to make a video for a couple weeks. So that's the rest of the delay. So had some time today. Figure I put this up for you guys. Uh, the E7, the Beano E7, has uh, a feature I think is cool about it. It's got eight smokestacks on each unit, as to where the E8s only have two smokestacks on each unit. Um, the E7s, uh, I'm going to be pulling a all Beano train. I think it's like six coal hoppers and I don't know, six box cars and a caboose nothing crazy just a all being o train and i'm sure somebody's going to tell me the e7s on pool passenger cars and i'm surely going to tell them i don't care i like freight cars so i'm going to pull freight cars with them um i guess i'm gonna leave the e8 sitting still because i don't want to get blasted again over the e8s because right now they have nickel plate passenger cars behind them as i still have not found a set of Santa Fe passenger cars that I wanted to buy. So we'll just leave the E8 sitting still looking pretty. They're pretty good at that. Um, any of you guys are interested, um, you can contact me through email, OGR forum, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. Um, made a choice to change the direction of my train collection. I'm going to be sticking to all steam and early diesels and that means I will be selling my modern diesels because I've never really thought they fit in and I'm I like steam yes I have more diesels I like steam I can just buy more diesels so I buy diesels um, if anybody's interested the ones I have left are the Florida East Coast ES44 the Santa Fe Warbonnet AC6000 both of those are Lionel Legacy and the Union Pacific AC6000 Lionel Legacy I will probably be keeping my B&O Fantasy Heritage Scheme AC6000 so that will leave me with all diesels up into the you know the early style early diesels from I guess these were probably made the, the units were probably in the 40's I'm guessing to the mid to late 60's 
guess that's what I'm going to try and shoot for. So if you're interested in any of those engines, the run down again, Santa Fe Warbond AC6000, Florida East Coast, ES44, Union Pacific AC6000. If you're interested in those three engines, contact me through email, the OGR forum, Twitter, Facebook, or just leave me a comment and I will figure out how to contact you. Um, I don't need to sell them. If I sell them, I sell them. If not, I don't. It's no big deal. Well, uh, let me get these uh, E7s fired up and run around the layout and uh, let me know what you think. And then I will, uh, I got a couple, I got another engine um, in the works I'll talk about after I run these E7s around. This is the dispatcher. Do you copy? I copy that. Over. Very good. Start up and hold. Yes, sir. We'll fire her up. Out. I'll do it for this uh, run session. Um, Lionel did a great job on them, um, especially after I sent them back. They also took care of uh, they rebatted the smoke unit uh, for me, and I think he said he changed the motor on one of the smoke units. So as you can see, they put out pretty good smoke. I'm pretty happy with them. Um, definitely would buy another set of these if they made some other cab numbers and B and O or. Maybe even the Seaboards if I could find a set for the right price. I like the Seaboard colors a lot. 
Um, have another engine sitting at Legacy Station right now, waiting on me to pay for it. So, um, probably take care of that this week. It is a um, Cass Heisler. Um, it'll be an odd little run video because I'm either going to have to pull regular freight cars, which it won't look right with, or um, I'm just going to have to run an engine by itself. Um, I'm a fan of Cass, you know, I'm from West Virginia, so that was a cool engine. I didn't get any of the, uh, any of the, uh, Shays, so maybe I'll make a Climax next or something, but hopefully I will, uh, should be able to have that video up sometime next week. I'll have to see how it goes, but I intend on having an engine here this week and, uh, maybe have the video up Saturday or Sunday. So that'll about do it for this video. Hope everybody enjoy their Labor Day weekend. Enjoy their college football games. Go Knowles. They play tonight, so see how that goes. Um, till next time, thanks for watching.